Right, hello again YouTube and uh, welcome to the next video. I'm going to continue on with fitting the wing and getting the tubs done in here uh, on this video and uh, see how far we get. But first thing I want to answer uh, a couple of questions. A couple have asked about getting re replacing these tubs com completely to, to bring my, obviously, obviously I'm going to bring my uh, tubs right up to the top of the arch to give me options for bigger wheelers and what have you and different ride heights. Now, this is only going to be a, a road car. I have no intention of taking this rally in or bouncing it around the forest and into a tree. This is a road car and I'm putting bubble arches on it because I, I want a bubble arch car. I've done since I was a little kid. I had a little matchbox one, purple one with bubble arches when I was about five or six. And I've loved bubble arch escorts ever since. Hence the car. Um, so to what I've done, I've got a couple of wheelers I'm going to be using here. So 13 inch mini lights, which is probably what's going to be going on it with uh, a fairly skinny profile on this one. It'd be probably fatter than that. There's a 55 profile on that. So I'll show you this one first to show you how far up into the arch it can go. Right, that's, that's right up against the, the tub that's there. Now I'm never gonna run the car that low. I'm probably gonna be around there somewhere, which gives me a good three inches of suspension travel which is more than I'm ever going to need and with the other wheel which is a set of uh, these uh, I can't remember the name of these off the top of my head they'll come to me in a minute but the, this has got a fatter profile tyre on it this has got uh, let's have a look so we can find the profile on this these are 60s so there's only only five up from the uh, the 55s but much bigger profile tyre which is probably what I'm going to be going for in this car and that'll be riding sort of about there somewhere which again you know I've got plenty of plenty of movement there up, up against up into the tubs I really don't think it's going to be an issue having the tubs where they are so I saw it, yeah probably about there would be my ride height so I'm uh, quite happy with that and I, I, if I was going to build a rally car and I was going to use it for competition yeah I'd understand putting the bigger tubs in the other reason why I want to keep the, these original tubs especially the inner parts of the tub is I want to put rear seats in the car I want to make it usable if I still put massive tubs in there that's going to make fitting the rear seat difficult so I hope that's answered a few questions on that one and uh, thanks thanks for the questions and thanks for the, the comments so far come in they're, uh, they're brilliant you, 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 you seem to like me uh, by bodging that, that panel out, so thanks for that. Uh, I'll uh, see what, others, what other bodging I can come up with. Right, right thanks again. Keep watching and uh, catch you later. Let's see if we can get some ideas of what we're going to do with this tub. So if we get a measuring stick up in there, something like that, and see where our widest piece is going to be, which looks about there. So we're looking at... Five and a quarter, five and a half, five and a quarter. Okay, so five and a half is our is our widest piece. Oh, dressmaker's tape measure comes in handy. This doesn't live in the garage. I robbed it from the house. So let's try that from about there somewhere. Go over a bit. for length all right okay so I have just noticed which I hadn't noticed before is this isn't flat across there this is tapering down and it's more pronounced over here so really want that to come straight across if I can we've got a couple of choices I try and bash it up so it's straight which I think that's gonna ask gonna be that's a fair stretch to, to do that or cut this back to this this flange here and start from there so we can come straight out and we'll be looking at about seven inches maybe eight inches just to be on the safe side 
So I think that's what I'm leaning towards. Because otherwise, if I follow that profile, I am going to be coming back downhill again. And I am going to be getting in the way of my tyre. Right, so what we're up against here is this and this is one panel. Looks like it's uh, it doesn't look like it because of, because of that swage on it, but it, it is. It just it's just scratched back there. Hopefully you can see. But there we go. It's better. You can see now that that's all one piece all the way around there. So what I think I'll do, because obviously if I cut that back to there now, like this strengthening piece here is in a structure, is going to then become detached from my inner tub. So what I think I'm going to do is cut along this swage line and then go on top of that. Um, probably plug, plug well the piece on top of that and then I can like the factory has done previously, a, a quick wadge of seam sealer up in there to, uh, to seal it off. Okay, I may have got a bit carried away with that. So cleaned it off with a wire brush. And then got the paint stripping disc on it as well to get it back nice and shiny and I give that a good coat of uh, the zinc rich primer uh, so that gives us a nice base now to come off from there out so if I get a piece eight inches long and as long as my tape measure we can make a tub for that right well that's annoying my piece of steel that I've got left is just about eight inches from there to there just less than tape is out anyway but I'm about that much short of making a full tub and it's not nearly long enough down the bottom there uh, not even long there's gonna be long enough so I'm gonna have to order some new steel uh, I am tempted to cut an 8 inch strip off of that and just have a play around with it because the edges the ends I may need to mess around with anyway so I could leave the ends off a little bit and sort of tuck, uh, tuck pieces into those afterwards. Yes, I think that's what we'll do. We'll cut an 8 inch strip off the end of this and see where we end up with. There's a piece of one mil cut to length of sorts and just cleaned up with a this, with this stripping disc just to clean the, the light rust over off the top of it. So I cut that out with the, with the uh, plasma cutter, so that made light, light work of that. Right, let's, next challenge is to make that round shaped. Now what can we do to do that with? Right, well, this is round shaped. Let's see if we can use this as a former of sorts. That. Yeah, I reckon that'll work. Put that in there and spot weld it in. My plan is to drill through here and then plug weld it from the top. That way it's going to look nicer from this side for a start and it's going to get both uh, thicknesses of metal here all bound together. Yes, I think that'll work quite nicely. Simply like that. And that should bring us out to where we want for the, for the arch. Right, 
So that's all the holes drilled out around there. Let's see if we can find a way of clamping this in and welding it into place. Some shape. I need to put some well through primer on this. Right, oh, so that's that all drilled out and ready to receive the arch. Just wait for the paint to dry off now. And I've just painted the one side of this bit of metal for the moment because my can's run out. The other one's clogged up. So we'll let that harden off and then uh, plug well into place. Right, yo, paint has dried on this now, so let's get this into position and plug weld it into place. welded in the place, the plugs have penetrated nicely down through there and if we come back you can see I've chucked some paint over this as well so that's this whole back the corrosion on that side so I don't worry too much about it in, in, in this neck of the woods it's not really gonna shouldn't get dirt and road grime up into there and what I'll do on this side is some seam sealer up in, with it, up in between that joint there and that will uh, seal that off nicely. Now this bit here, I'll worry about this once I've got the outer arch on, I can then make a repair from there down to connect up to the, what's the, the outer seal and what I do there. Same this side, I've got to bring this down to here anyway and work out a repair around there anyhow. So the next thing to do before we do all that is get the arch back on and then start trimming this tub to suit the arch will sort of come out around here somewhere and tuck in down there the same this side it's just be a case of off it up mark it cut it off it up mark it cut it so that is what we'll do next
Okay, so probably what's not so obvious, I'm trying to do this off camera with the other tripod camera is I can get some light, decent light on this is I'm just scribing a line down there off of the face of the, of the uh, bubble arch and just working my way back gently gently until we're touching or as best we can all the way around then what the plan is then is to just tack weld that at intervals against the, the back of this and then plenty of seam sealer up in there to, to seal it all off all right so that's the tub or the the bubble arch fitting quite nicely through the outer panel so that's ready for welding into place and fettling with and the inner side of things is likewise fitting mostly snugly there are a couple of areas where there's a bit of a gap but i think i simply do with that is get a thin piece of steel and just bridge across the two and tack it so it makes up the gap but it is it's only a small little gap here and there and i've got this to finish off here as well so i think what i'll do next is is seam weld down from there onto what's left of the inner arch because that was part of repair that needed doing anyway got to repair there it needs sorting out and then we can box off this bottom piece here once I got this cut into place and, and lined up with the bottom of that. There we go, that's the tub fitted. You can see now from this angle how it copies the shape of the bubble arch. You can see that was a bit of a fiddle, on off, on off, backwards, forwards, but it's the only really the way to describe it in as closely as you can. Uh, I said there's a bit of a gap here. And that's not so much down to how I scribed it in to I didn't leave this come out forward enough. So if I had this at eight inches, probably could have been better off. I'd made that eight and a half inches uh, just to get me beyond where I was going. But that's, that's not the end of the world. Like I said, I can just put a little strip on there and that won't be any great shakes. So I'll weld up down there now and get that in shaped into place. Right, I wasn't very happy in the direction that was going, it was getting a bit thin there, so I've cut that back to good metal up around there, and there's a repair to do on that section there as well. Right, that's that bit all uh, welded in, sorted out, didn't bother filming that, wasn't very exciting. From this side, all uh, sealed off, and Tidied up. But, uh, and with the ugly welds still attached, I haven't ground those off or anything, I just uh, painted them over for now. Lovely, okay, so that's another video we've uh, come to the end of. Uh, got the tub in place, which was what I wanted to achieve in this video. I've done a little bit more in that I've done a repair under there in that quarter as well, and sort of brought this around towards boxing off this area here. Still got some more area to box off here. You can see that, it's a bit dark in the video. Um, but that's, I'll probably end up cutting that off across there and doing that piece in one go. But we're ready now for the arch to go on and for this, the panel here that we made on the last video to be let in and done properly. So we're getting perilously close to having this arch completed. So thanks for watching. Thanks again for those that subscribe and please do subscribe if you don't already. Um, and something incredible is happening with the channel because all of a sudden it appears to be taking off, which is fantastic. Uh, we're, we're almost on 3,000 subscribers already. It doesn't seem like 
two minutes ago, I was I was saying that it's two thousand subscribers. So massive thank you for everybody who does does subscri subscribe, and it really does help the channel. It helps YouTube, and I believe the algorithm, which I don't understand at all, but so I'm told, a tells me that the more subscribers you get, the more that YouTube pushes the video forward, and the more it grows exponentially. So thank you for your support with that. Much appreciated.